Friends. I still don't think he did it. I'm glad I caught the killer. Now we can finally leave this stinkhole. That's not such a bad place. I learned a lot from working with you, Agent Ray. Yeah. I'll look you up if I'm ever at the home office in Albuquerque. Uh, there is no home office in Albuquerque. No shit, Sherlock. So wait, she's leaving? Guys, by the way, I, I didn't click any of that part. It did all that by itself. Interesting. Okay. Uh -oh. I can't believe I got over again. What did I do to deserve this treatment? All I wanted to do was entertain people and make them laugh at the stupidity of stupid people. I feel like there's a lesson in all of this. But you, I'm ranting the clown. It's all that Franklin's fault. He was gonna talk to Chuck about putting my new high-tech ransom the clown license dolls into production at the old pillow factory. Then he flaked out. He's probably in Mexico skinny dipping with my next wife. Okay, I need to break into that pillow factory and see if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. My comeback depends on it. Okay. Break into pillow factory, get key to factory gate, find missing joke page. We can do all of this. Okay, let's go to you. I can't help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But in the last few years, he became obsessed, and more than usual, with that pillow factory. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened. People are saying, uh, or Lothar just said, you need to reload, you need all the items on the agents. You know what, man? I don't. And let me tell you why. These types of games were designed so that kind of stuff can't happen. Did you notice that when I gave the chick a lot of items that this girl just Good said straight up, I'm not trick. giving her that stuff? I'm pretty sure we have everything we need. Um, I don't think we need to reload at all. Uh, I have a feeling we'll either see those agents again or none of the items they had are ones that we need to complete this part. Yeah. These games are kind of notorious for being designed so you can't really stop. Like, you always can get yourself out of whatever situation you get into. There were bugs in the games, of course, but most of them were supposed to be like this. So, let's see. Oh. Nothing in there but charred trash. I don't want to pick that up. Okay, now if we go to this guy, he's probably going to say new stuff. Here he goes. Oh, oh, I'm, you know, really dead. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never going to hold my Dolores again. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. Okay, so we can bring Dolores here. Now, with this guy, we don't know how he died yet. This is the dad. This is this girl's dad. So that is the dead father of her. Um, we need to talk to him, though. So let's see if we can go to the hotel and if they can talk to each other. 
It's a revolving door. It's a revolving. It's a revolving door. Are, are you serious? I can't. There we go. Okay, there's the father. Dolores. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. Mm. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. Goodbye, Dolores. I'm... Hmm. Now we can't leave. What? Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. And the guy Xavier... It's a button to call the elevator. ...is in the penthouse, but... I can't cope with the boredom anymore. Talk to me now. Okay. I'm not very good at talking to, you know, strangers, but I'll give it a try. So, Clara, what's life like as, well, you know, a, a ghost? For starters, it's not life. Of course, but you know what I mean, right? What's it like? It's like being a ghost. How come you're so, you know, upset all the time? That's unfair. I'm not upset all the time. I'm just a little hungry right now, and that makes me angry. That happens to me, too. There should be a word for that. <laughs> what can ghosts, you know, eat? As a ghost, it's hard to find food that we can eat. My particular weakness has always been ice cream cake. But I'm stuck in this stupid elevator, and I can't get any. Can I, you know, please go to the penthouse? No. Hmm, please. No, you're not my friend. I don't know you anything. Hmm. What do you? I'm rather fond, but Xavier says I. What do you? I'm rather, but Xavier. So we gotta find her ice cream cake. Bye, Clara. The closed elevator door. Hmm. That's the way out of. My toys will never get. Maybe he has some somewhere. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How well, may I be a boo of service? I'd like some tickets for ThimbleCon. I'm sorry. We only have ThimbleCon tickets for K-Scum Abu contest winners. You should listen to K-Scum on the radio for your chance to win a boo. How else may I be a boo of service? How's business been going? In this town? Always slow. You know how it is. Well... Dimple Conabu just opened to record crowds. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check. Goodbye. Have a nice evening. All right. I don't think we've seen ice cream cake anywhere. Maybe we can buy some at the uh, the store. Uh, dragon. Wait, what is that? Calling all geeks. ThimbleCon 87 is now open. Arr! Ah! None shall oh, pass thanks, girl. without showing Appreciate me that. their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. How can I get a ticket? The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. Okay, cool. All right, so we can go back to the radio sh uh, area. It's a revolving and see if we can do anything there. Hey, Gary Kuhn. We can also go to the, um, the Quickie Mart and see if we can find an ice cream cake. Um, let's leave you here. Do you have uh, anything that would be good for us? No. Let's go to the Quickie Pal. Bro Fishing Bros, we'll take a look, buddy. Thank you. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Yeah, ice cream cake? Dude, can you score me some more of that clown blend? 
I don't think so, kid. I'd hate to be responsible for the death of your last two working brain cells. I know a chimp who could do this job better than you, face. He's more articulate, too. Dude, no way! Next time, send the chimp, cause me wanna see. How does it feel to know this is your peak? Dude, quit harshing my buzz. You sound like my mom. Nah, your mom sounds like this. Oh yeah, ransom, ransom, oh yeah, ransom! Wanna hear a joke? What do your mom and my clown car have in common? Dude, no. Me and 20 other clowns. Dude, stop. <laughs> uh, dude, can you score? You. Dude. I think I left my hamster in the microwave. Gotta run. All right, so there's no ice cream cake or anything to buy here. It's an I'm sorry for forgetting your birthday card. It's an I'm sorry your hamster died card. It's an I'm sorry you're feeling like card. It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. It's an I'm sorry your face won't come off card. Oh, below the belt. <laughs> yeah, right, like I need this. It's an I'm sorry you're a cut out of the inheritance card. Be careful how you spend your bupkis. What a sucker. Do you know my cousin Bernie? I don't want to pick that up. Take it. It's another sample from the traveling animal repellent salesman. Okay. Oh. Here goes nothing. I'm checking in. Certainly, Abu. Here is your roomie. Oh my Not god. Long now. <laughs> I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, Abu. Here is your roomie. What do you even do? Wow. You have one new message. Message one. Hola, soy mamá. Recuerdas la, la vieja promesa que me hiciste sobre papá? He enviado un paquete a recepción. Es vital para nuestro plan. Come bien, llámeme pronto. Estoy preocupada. Un beso. No more new messages. You have one new message. Message one. You know who this is? You must be close to achieving our goal. We send the package to the front desk for you. It is required for the next stage. Sayonara. No more new messages. Here's your package, Abu. Thank you. Oh, this is just great. Is that you, Reyes? No, I'm not Reyes. Drop the act, that's the worst disguise I've ever seen. <laughs> that because you haven't looked in the mirror lately. Touché. What are you doing back in town? I knew something was up with you. Same here, Sherlock. We are being raided! Subs, please flood this channel with hearts. Big thank you to the Bikeman Raiders. Welcome to the stream. We are playing a game right now called Thimbleweed Park. It is a lot of fun. Boss weapons! Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, people in the channel, as soon as the raid is done, you will see Bikeman's channel link. Do yourself a favor, toss the man a follow. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. So anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep going. And uh, yeah, big thank you to the Bikeman Raiders. Good to see you guys. Fuck. I don't think either of us were being honest. I think it's time we came clean and told the truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. You first. 
Okay. Boom. I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I was wondering why you kept asking about the mm -hmm. fire. I figured it was just some perverted pyro fetish. My father was a security guard there. How old were you? I was only five. I'm here to try and clear his name and prove it was Chuck's fault. Clearing your dad's name is a very noble cause. I'm sorry I've given you such a hard time. I need to get into that factory. I'm sure there is evidence in there that will clear his name. Now, why are you really here? Well... Now this one's a bit different. Oh, here it is. There it is, right there. I'm here to find the secrets to the Pillow Factory AI for the NSA. It involves top secret national security. That's pretty oh. important. Sounds like we both need to get into the Pillow Factory. Let's work together. She on lied this one. to him. Total honesty. Wow. National security. That's some heavy NSA stuff. Let's split up. It will go faster. Good idea. Ma'am, I have a package of boo for you. This is the AI watching us. That's what this is. Every we've been seeing this the whole game. I bet you it's the AI watching us. Yep. Can I turn up the game volume a bit? Sure. Uh, boom, boom. Okay, so we got our girl back. Which... It's addressed to me. I've been waiting for this. And what is it? Perfect. It's a special tool for a special use. It's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. <laughs> Love it. Um, you. Yes, it's my father's watch. It's my father's old pocket watch, but it's broken and only a professional will be able to fix it. Okay. Now there is a repair shop here somewhere. But I thought Oh, this is open now. Um yeah, we'll need to figure out where that is. Open an account today and get a free toaster. Free toaster? How do I open an account? Right now. Hello, safely fixed. Excuse me, I'm watching you. You can't just take my things, it's a bank. I'm a federal agent and I need a paperweight. I don't care who you are, you can't have it. Is this an obscene phone call? I wish I could get them to stop calling. Uh, Tiltarn, we have an in-game or uh, an in-channel team. Uh, Prop Danny B, Triwar, and Barry, and that team together makes my overlays. Hello, we call them Tech Team Six, saving. and Your they're money awesome. Is in our hands. I should wait until he's off the phone. What's with all the heavy breathing and moaning? These obscene phone calls are getting annoying. How can I help, sir? Do you know anything about Chuck Edmund? He was a much-loved community figure and our bank's most loyal customer. Mr. Edmund will be sorely missed. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, sir. Do you know why the factory has such high-end security? In its current state, the factory is not safe to enter. Fire damage rendered the building unstable, and I'm sure the Edmunds don't want any frivolous lawsuits. But aside from that, it is my understanding the factory still contains some valuable Pillotronics equipment. That's why we are holding the key until Mr. Edmund's final wishes are made clear at his will reading. I see. Oh. Hold on. Can, I wonder if the, the lawyer's back now. Are you the manager of this bank? You're quite right. I'm Mr. El Palo, the manager of Safely First Savings. I take care of all the day-to-day -day operations of the bank. May I ask why the feds are interested in my work all of a sudden? Don't worry. I'm just making conversation, Mr. El Paulo. Did you hear about the murder? Of course. It's not every day a body shows up in Thimbleweed Park. Do you think Willie did it? I'm not sure that I do. 
Whatever his personal problems, Willie doesn't seem like a murderer to me. I understand, but all the evidence points to him. Maybe so, but I just don't think he did it. Willie will be okay. If he didn't do it, then the courts will find him innocent. Say what you want, but it doesn't change the fact there is likely an innocent watch repairman sitting in a cell right now. Goodbye, Mr. El Paulo. If you ever need savings or loan advice, feel free to drop by. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Excuse me, I'm watching you. You can't just take things here. It's a bank. I'm a federal agent, and I need to confiscate this key. I don't care who you are. You'll do no such thing on my watch. Are, are, are you coming on to me? I need to keep them on long enough to trace the call. One of those fancy new wireless phones. There's no phone number on it. I wonder if we can call the bank and mess with him. It's just after five o'clock. Impressive. Safely first savings. Let's go to you. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. You're listening to KSCUM 198.7 on your FM dial. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. It's locked and bolted from the inside. There's a thick layer of dust on it. And a message. No one's taking my desk or anything else in here. I have glue. C.S. Um, okay. So, first thing, let's start knocking out the stuff we can do. First, we'll try to call the lawyer again. I don't think it'll work, but a lot of things have already changed, so maybe that's one of the things that changed. I'm at the staircase. Should I use it? Hi there. This is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then oh. you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today at ThimbleCon 87, ah, handling all okay. cosplay legal issues. Stop by my... So he's at ThimbleCon, so we're gonna have to win the tickets to ThimbleCon first before we do the lawyer okay find lawyer in thimblecon uh the pillow factory key let's let's we'll work down the list on each one find out what happened to dad that's not going to happen now get inside the pillow factory we know the keys in the bank so we're going to need to somehow do that get the key to the factory gate that is going to be later get the lawyer to read uncle will that's a thimblecon we're gonna have to win the tickets and dust is done so i love basic nice all right let's go to you it's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. Look at Book of the Dead. We haven't found the, the, the father's grave yet. We don't know where he died. So we can't use the, the book to bring him back. What is What does your book say? Okay, steal the secrets of the pill factory. Oh, we can't do that yet. Break into the pill factory. Can't do that yet. Can't do to get the key. Win tickets to Nerdy ThimbleCon. So it looks like we're going to be doing something with the radio next. Fix Dad's watch. We can let's let's go do that. Or well, let's go talk to the the dude. I'm innocent! If you didn't do it, a jury will find you not guilty. I, I missed a speck of dust below the chair. Time. Ah, Can you thank fix you guys. This watch? Why should I? Considering I'm only locked up because of you. Oh, the radio's on. I know you're innocent. Well, let me see it. 
That's a strange looking watch. Ah, but sure, I can fix it. But do you think I can fix it with my teeth? Come back when you have some proper tools. And turn off that awful noise. Play me some theremin music. Proper tools. Hmm. The radio is turned on and tuned to 198.7 FM. I can't turn it off. The knob is missing and the radio's bolted to the cabinet. The sheriff left it on as a form of torture. Hmm. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. Okay. Okay. Let's see if there's anything new in here real quick. Nope. It's a very oh. dark and sm Did you see that? Right over here? It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. It's a very dark and the corner was, or the, was definitely right there. Up to the door. It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. That was creepy. Open an account today and get a free toaster. No, it just says open an account and get a free toaster. But we may be able to look it up. Is this where the watch repair place is? No, it's the realty place. There's an actual office front for the. Uh, the watch place. I don't remember where it is, though. It's Laser Disc Chalet. There's Thimble. It wasn't down here. Let's stop at the uh, bank and get that dust while we're thinking about it. Um, oh! That's actually a really good question. Can Ghost Dad go into the con? Very good. Right here. It only sells new Coke, and no one wants that. Freezing all that soda might make it explode. That feels as cold as space. That feels as cold as space. Teeny tiny space. That feels as cold. That doesn't use electricity. The developers seem nice. I don't want oh. to muck up their precious computer. What's that guy doing? Ransom jerk-alike contest? Nothing's happening until they get enough contestants for the ransom look-alike contest. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I can't reach that. Hmm. Looks fine to me. I get no satisfaction from chilling objects when no one is around. I'm not going to do that because I value my ears. Hmm. What's that about Clara? Oh, get food for Clara. Um. What about you? What are you doing? Hi, Virgil. Hi, Franklin. Don't let Xavier. Oh, is that ice cream cake? Not working. Can I have some, you know, cake? This is special ghost cake. It's super I couldn't pick up the, uh, get. I'm not going to give you stuff. any unless you have a really good reason. How about Clara said she wants some, you know, cake? For Clara? That changes everything. For her, I'd do anything. Here, take a slice. Just make sure you tell her it's from me. Thanks. I'll do that. See you soon, Virgil. All right, now we have ghost cake. Can we do anything with him? Boo! No. Okay. Thimbleweed Park's second largest nerd and geek convention. Listen to Case. 
delicious cake made especially um, for ghosts. Oh, it's just the flap doodle again. Would you like this? Here we go. Uh, you know, ghost cake. That's just normal ghost cake. Ugh. Hey, full I fresh. only eat ice cream cake. Would you like this, uh, you know, ghost cake? That's just normal ghost cake. Ugh. I only eat ice cream cake. Bye, Clara. Voila, now it's ice cream ghost cake. Oh, it's just the flap doodle again. Would you like this, you know, um, ice cream ghost cake? Oh my, you shouldn't have. That's so kind of you. Actually, it's from Virgil. I think he, you know, likes you. Really? Well, I never. That's delightful of you to deliver it. Thank you so much. I feel much better already. Now, what did you want to ask me? Can I... But you know, please go to the penthouse now. All oh, right. I'm tired of listening to Xavier, that old fustalugs. Maybe you can figure out how to get rid of him. Oh, you know, that sounds pretty confrontational. I don't know. <laughs> don't be so pigeon-livered. You should stand up for yourself. Oh, okay. I suppose you're right. <laughs> Good, it's decided then. Just push that penthouse button for yourself when you're ready. I won't stop you anymore. Boop. 